how to pipeline your project to make teams more efficient and to boost output. My name is Jan van Egmond, I'm project management hacker. Because there are better ways that are easier to learn and easier to use. There are so many appealing strategies and solutions to help organizations and people to become more successful, more effective. So why doing pipelines? Pipelines are so uh, boring. Maybe you know or don't know, pipelines are part of every project organization. You get them for free. But nobody is talking about pipelines. So why care about pipelines? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. Pipelines stuck. They jam and run empty. Wasting resources, capacity, time, effort, money. Pipelines running out of control is a major source of confusion, conflict and chaos. Pipelines are a big deal. But pipelines are also the secret of the absolute best project management success stories that boosted output by 20 to 50 percent and even more. So what are pipelines in the first place? Projects don't fly randomly through organizations. They line up or pile up. And when you recognize how projects stream through the organization, it's also easy to see that a steady and stable stream is so much more better than letting a jam get stuck or run empty. And then people are constantly starting and stopping and firefighting instead of getting some rework done. Now, how to pipeline your project to make your teams more efficient and to boost output? Four steps. Step one is before making any commitment to clients about new projects, check the pipeline. Step two, refill the pipeline quickly enough to keep the pipeline running, but not too fast, because that will cause the pipeline to jam. Step three, speed up slow projects before the pipeline runs empty. And the final step, hold back projects when they jam the pipeline. And this is the secret of many of the absolute best project management success stories. Let's do a quick check. How to keep an overview of all the projects in the pipeline? How do you check if there is enough space in the pipeline for the commitments you want to make? Do you get alerted by your pipeline when it is time to get new projects started? And what signs does the pipeline give when projects move too fast or too slow? What about alarms when the pipeline jams? It's easier said than done, even for senior experts. They make it a huge effort. They sell advanced planning software with lots of training, workshops, coaching. It's a big investment and a huge burden. And why? Well, it's their living. Fill in the dots yourself. But in this ebook, Project Pipelines Decoded, I describe a different reality. The truth is, a pipeline manager can be set up real quick, without workshops, without new planning techniques for project managers, without new planning software, without the need to change how people do their work. Can be up and running in one or two weeks. Project Pipelines Decoder describes how to use project pipelines to make your team more efficient and to boost productivity by 20 to 50% or more. Go to empoweryourprojects.com slash book and get your own free digital copy. My name is Jan van Egmond. I'm project management hacker because there are better ways that are easy to learn and easier to use. Thanks for watching.